So a very tense debate ahead, isn't it, uh, currently undergoing at the European Parliament. We are then expected to hear from the Hungarian Prime Minister. This so-called nuclear option has never been used against the, an EU state, has it? And the threat of it being triggered really hasn't gone down well in Hungary, has it? Talk to us about that. Well, it has not. And in fact, this so-called nuclear option would, of course, need the backing of all the EU member states. So it actually might, the procedure might not ever even come about. But the fact that Hungary's rule of law is being forensically scrutinised by a member of the European Parliament and deliberated and debated today in Strasbourg is already highly humiliating for the administration of uh, Viktor Orban. And that's why we already saw the Hungarian government put out an angry statement yesterday saying that this so-called Sargentini report they said was misleading, not truthful, and also they said it was the pro-immigration majority trying to make a final last-ditch attempt to attack Hungary. Now, we've already seen Viktor Orban speak in this format on this topic in the European Parliament. That was last April 2017. So today he's likely to give a very similar speech and point at the European Union for sticking its nose in Hungarian domestic affairs. And he'll also probably use today's platform to say that when it comes to migration, Hungary has actually been been leading because other EU member states have been copying and pasting their model, which is, of course, blocking borders and keeping uh, migrants out. And Maeve, to bring us up to date on this report itself, how are the MEPs reacting to it? Well, briefly, the report was carried out by Judith Sargentini. That's a Green MEP from the Netherlands. And she spent time in Hungary speaking to NGOs, to members of the media, to politicians and to members of civil society. And she said now she's worried about what she said is an illiberal path that she believes Hungary is going down. In this long, comprehensive report, she points out a number of areas where she believes rule of law and freedom of speech uh, have been breached. For that report to be backed in that vote tomorrow, 2%... Two, two percent, er, the, the, a lot of, I mean, the majority needs to be two out of three MEPs need to back it. And MEPs are still not quite clear on how they're going to vote, and especially those MEPs from the European People's Party. That's the centre-right party in the parliament. It's the biggest one. And it's also the one affiliated to Fidesz. That's Viktor Orban's group. They'll be meeting, of course, at six this afternoon to decide. But one MEP we know the way she'll be voting, she'll be backing the report. That's Vivian Redding from Luxembourg. She's also the former Commissioner for Justice and she actually wants to see Fidesz, that political party, ejected from the European People's Party, the biggest party in the, in the European Parliament.